Do you want to know why Long Lewis sells more Fords than anyone in central Alabama? It must be the price. So we clearly mark every vehicle with your best price right up front. There you go, plain and simple. I'm Jeff Cook from Alabama for Long Lewis Ford Lincoln, Highway 150 in Hoover. The July 31st Annual World Deer Expo. Over a thousand booth spaces. T-Bone Turner, Bobby Brantley, Tyler Wood, RJ and J Paul, and more. Country concerts by Matt Stilwell, Jack White, Kevin Sports, and Sweet Tea. Purchase your tickets online and qualify to win $500,000. That's right, buy your tickets online by July 17th and qualify to win over a half million dollars. The July World Deer Expo, BJCC. With 30 years of experience in German and European auto repair, Mike and Mike's Complete Auto Care has the expertise to properly repair your domestic or foreign vehicles. Specializing in Volkswagen and Audi vehicles, our factory trained technicians will give you quick and courteous service with no long downtime for your repair. Our goal is to get you in and out quickly, properly repaired without the inflated prices of our competition. Mike and Mike's Complete Auto Care. Trust us once and you'll trust us forever. Hi, I'm Jeff Cook from Alabama. Did you know that Long Lewis has won more awards for customer satisfaction than any Ford dealer in the nation? Now that's a Dixieland delight. Long Lewis Ford Lincoln on Highway 150 in Hoover. Dixieland delight. Today's episode is brought to you in part by Long Lewis Ford, Alabama's oldest Ford dealership. Great Days Outdoor Magazine. Mike and Mike Auto Repairs in Pelham. And the original July World Deer Expo, BJCC. Hi folks and welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors with Bob Coker. We're still in Saskatchewan and we're still hunting white-tailed deer. You saw last week's episode we got three kills on film and boy it was an exciting, exciting hunt. And we just ran out of time. So we're going to show you the continuation of that hunt but before we do we're going to show you the kill shots from last week's episode. They are some exciting hunts. Well, that's a great deer. I don't know if the old Renzo uh, decoys had anything to do with it, but I think he had his eye on a girlfriend. Man, he was coming straight <laughs> to him, though. We just didn't give him enough time. You have kicked yourself a monster. What do you reckon he's going to score, Richard? He's got to be high 180s. Oh, I'm sure. He's going to blow that out. He's yeah. in the 190. I hope so. Oh, man. man. <laughs> hey, did this Kabir deer work or It what? did, baby. He come running right into it. I don't know <laughs> if it was your grunting or the Kabir deer, but something brought him right. The first afternoon, Lee Smith climbed up this aspen tree hoping to be the first in our group to tag a monster whitetail. It wasn't long before Lee saw these two massive bucks. As they were walking away, Lee ranged them to be over 80 yards. 
Not bad for the first hour's hunt. When the deer had gotten just out of sight, Lee decided to try some grunting. This buck came charging in. What a shot! Well, folks, we just got down out of the tree. There's not going to be much of a blood trail because of the rain, but we're not going to need it. We heard him crash about 100 yards away. I know I got a double lung on him because we could hear it when he run off. So let's go see what we got. Great job, Lee. Appreciate Great it, job. Cole. That's a nice book. Folks, uh, we're in Saskatchewan, Canada. Um, we're hunting whitetail deer this week. As you can see, I got me a really, really nice uh, 10 point. It's the first bow kill I've ever, first deer I've ever shot with my bow. Uh, I'm pretty much speechless right now. I mean, I, I mean, my first bow kill ever, he's gonna go 140 plus. You know, we really don't know. He's just, he's an immaculate deer. Um, Y'all stay tuned for more Outdoors with Bob Coker. The July 31st Annual World Deer Expo, over a thousand booth spaces. T-Bone Turner, Bobby Brantley, Tyler Wood, RJ and J Paul, and more. Country concerts by Matt Stilwell, Jack White, Kevin Sports, and Sweet Tea. Purchase your tickets online and qualify to win $500,000. That's right, buy your tickets online by July 17th and qualify to win over a half million dollars. The July World Deer Expo, BJCC. Come home to a sparkling clean pool and manicured lawn. Birmingham's premier landscape and pool care specialist, Menard Landscape and Pool, is both convenient and consistent, offering wonderful tailored yards and beautiful sparkling pools. It's time to open your pool, and Menard Landscape and Pool has a special just for you. With pool openings as low as $99, call today, 205-563-6795. Alabama's Great Days Outdoors magazine is published 12 months a year by Alabama hunters and fishermen for Alabama hunters and fishermen. Start your next Great Day Outdoors in Alabama with a subscription to Alabama's own homegrown magazine, Alabama's Great Days Outdoors. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better banking sign. Bill, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. All right, let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Craig Doris about a car loan that can save you hundreds. Morning, folks. As you can see, we're deer hunting. We're in Saskatchewan, Canada. It's a beautiful morning. We're ready to go deer hunting. Uh, first thing we're going to do is put out some Khmer deer. We've got some in spray form. It's a, a deer attractant. We're going to put it on our decoys. Then we're going to put some Khmer deer on the ground around. Hopefully, it should be interesting. Y'all stay with us.
Dana has seen a nice deer in the bush at 40 yards and he's trying to lure him closer by using his grunt call. Finally, the grunt calls has worked and it has brought the deer in close enough for a shot. about four or five feet from me. I didn't have a shot. All I had was he, was he was facing me. I couldn't shoot. Oh, man, it was killing me. Maybe he'll be back. Who knows? Oh, man. Later that morning, that same buck joined with one of his buddies just couldn't resist the smell of the Khmer deer and decided to come back for a taste. he had, but he was big. I intentionally shot low. I knew he was going to duck, and I'm pretty sure he ducked right into the arrow. Oh, man, he's an awesome buck. Most beautiful word to a bow hunter. Swack! Yeah! We're going to give him a few minutes. We'll go find him. Y'all stay tuned. Do you want to know why Long Lewis sells more Fords than anyone in Central Alabama? It must be the price. So we clearly mark every vehicle with your best price right up front. There you go, plain and simple. I'm Jeff Cook from Alabama for Long Lewis Ford Lincoln, Highway 150 in Hoover. The July 31st Annual World Deer Expo. Over a thousand booth spaces. T-Bone Turner, Bobby Brantley, Tyler Wood, RJ and J Paul, and more. Country concerts by Matt Stilwell, Jack White, Kevin Sports, and Sweet Tea. Purchase your tickets online and qualify to win $500,000. That's right, buy your tickets online by July 17th and qualify to win over a half million dollars. The July World Deer Expo, BJCC. It's out there, that perfect piece of land. Perfect for hunting, fishing, recreation, or investing in the future. No lender knows land financing like First Cell, with flexible, competitive financing options up to 30 years. Go to FirstSouthLand.com or call 1-800-955-1722 to make it happen. First South Farm Credit. We finance the land. You build the memories. Equal housing lender. With 30 years of experience in German and European auto repair, Mike and Mike's Complete Auto Care has the expertise to properly repair your domestic or foreign vehicles. Specializing in Volkswagen and Audi vehicles, our factory trained technicians will give you quick and courteous service with no long downtime for your repair. Our goal is to get you in and out quickly, properly repaired without the inflated prices of our competition. Mike and Mike's Complete Auto Care. Trust us once and you'll trust us forever. Hi, I'm Jeff Cook from Alabama. 
Did you know that Long Lewis has won more awards for customer satisfaction than any Ford dealer in the nation? Now that's a Dixieland delight. Long Lewis Ford Lincoln on Highway 150 in Hoover. Dixieland delight. I felt my shot was just a little bit back, so we just got down out of the tree stand and we're gonna go get some lunch and uh, give him two or three hours instead of 30 minutes because I, I just don't wanna jump him out of his bed. I feel sure he's probably dying. We, we heard him kind of give that raspy sound as he was running off, so I think it was a good shot. We just wanna make sure we don't wanna jump him and lose him. As you well know, never wanna do that, so. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes, and uh, y'all stay tuned. Looks like he's following this trail right here. Here's sign. Here's blood. Here's more sign. Yeah, we've only been about 100 yards. It's real thick in here and hard to see the blood. He's leaving a pretty good trail. Here's more. Here's, well, here's a bunch. Yeah, I don't think he's going to go very much further. Here's some. Here's some, here's more, here's more sign here. There he is, Bob. All right, woo! <laughs> oh man, he's big. Woo, what a white tail, man. What a deer. Man, thanks, Bob. Congratulations. <laughs> Boy, you've shot a nice one. Look at the palmation on that brow time. 14 points. One, two, three, four, five stickers on this thing. Oh, Typical man. five on this side and eight points on this side. Boy, I just can't say enough about DNR Outfitters, buddy. They will they will put you on some deer. Darcy's got them, don't he? He does. And I just, I just want to say thanks again. Uh, I tell you folks, if uh, you want to learn how to tune your bow or perhaps sight your rifle in or maybe get some helpful tips on some cooking some venison or maybe some recipes. Hey, you don't need to watch this show <laughs> because I tell you what, if you want to watch some bone crushing, lung busting, heart stopping, bow hunting action, now this is the show to watch. That's right. Wouldn't you say so? <laughs> I, I have to see <laughs> And we got a lot more coming up this season. And uh, like I said, I just, I just really want to thank you and I've had a great time. Dana, you have shot a nice one here and folks, don't y'all go away. We got a whole lot more hunting coming up here at DR Outfitting. The July 31st Annual World Deer Expo. Over a thousand booth spaces. T-Bone Turner, Bobby Brantley, Tyler Wood, RJ and J Paul, and more. Country concerts by Matt Stilwell, Jack White, Kevin Sports, and Sweet Tea. Purchase your tickets online and qualify to win $500,000. That's right, buy your tickets online by July 17th and qualify to win over a half million dollars. The July World Deer Expo, BJCC. Are you sure we should take this billboard down? People find out State Farm does car loans as well as they do insurance. Our bank is through. Good point. Grab an edge. Look, there's two guys on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. No, for real, there's two dudes on the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Gentlemen, please get down from the State Farm Borrow Better Banking sign. Phil, get the hose. Okay, he's getting the hose. All right, let's go. Want to borrow better? Contact State Farm agent Craig Doris about a car loan that can save you hundreds. I'm Tyler Jordan from Realtree Camouflage, here to tell you about Misty Morning Outfitters in Central Kansas. Ron and Warden have thousands of acres, hunting white-tailed deer, turkey, waterfowl, goose, pheasant, and quail hunt. If you're looking for a hunt of a lifetime, Kansas is the place to be, and Misty Morning has it all. For more information, contact Ron at 620-708-8540 or email mistymorningoutfitters at yahoo.com. This is the Tree Stand Buddy, the easiest, safest way ever to hang your stand. With the receiver on the tree and the bracket on the stand, simply slide your stand into place. Attach the tree stand strap. You never carry your stand up the tree. Tree Stand Buddy works on virtually any hang-on stand. I put a receiver in every tree I hunt. 
take my stand with me. It's that easy. Learn more at treestandbuddy.com. Folks, when we got to Saskatchewan, I was sick. I mean, I was so sick with the flu that as soon as we finished the initial introductions, I went straight to bed. I couldn't even lift my head off the pillow. I was in bed for eight full days, and it was beginning to look like I wasn't even going to get to hunt. Now, Colt, he had been running camera for other people for seven days, and finally he was able to start his hunt. At the beginning of this episode, we showed you Colt's kill from last week's episode. While he was in his stand after he'd taken that 150 class buck and he was waiting for him to expire, this huge 190 class buck slipped up from behind him and stopped underneath his tree. The buck stood right underneath Colt's stand for several seconds while he was staring at the decoys. And then finally he eased into one of the decoys, took a real quick sniff, and then trotted off into the woods. After about 15 minutes, his curiosity got the best of him, and he came back in to check out both decoys this time. When Colt finally got back to camp, he was more excited about the 190 class buck that he had seen than what he was with the 150 class buck that he'd killed. I was the only hunter in camp who hadn't tagged out yet and when Colt went on and on and on about this big deer, it was like he'd given me a, a, a vitamin B12 shot. I perked up and was ready to go hunting. The next morning I climbed up in the exact same tree that Colt had hunted in and hunted all morning and we saw a few smaller bucks but the big boy just never came in. At about noon I'd finally gotten a glimpse of the big deer and he was running with four or five other deer and I could tell from the direction that he was heading that he wasn't going to be coming by my stand anytime soon. They were in a head of woods and they were funneling toward a pinch point that brought them to an open pasture that would have been somewhere around 50 yards from another finger of trees on the opposite side of the pasture. I checked the wind and found that it was perfect for a stalk. So I climbed down out of the tree. I had to circle around, but I got in an advantage point where if they'd have continued on the same path they were headed, I'd have gotten a perfect shot at them. Finally, here they come, right through this head of woods to the pinch point on the opposite side of this pasture, about 50 yards away. Oh man, what happened? I hope it hit a femur artery. Maybe it was too high to do that. Well, folks, I found the arrow. Um, it is covered with dark blood all the way up to here. And then there's also some splatters of it up to here. You know, and I don't know what happened. We're going to have to go back and look at the footage in slow motion. But, uh, you know, either I made a bad shot or he spun and jumped string and got his vitals out of the way and I hit him back. Or this fletching here is, is pulled away from the arrow. So I'm thinking it might have hit a twig right before it hit the animal and that kicked it. And I got to tell you, if that happened, I did not see any twigs or debris in my way of my line of, of trajectory. So, uh, but as an archer, you don't ever want to shoot at an animal if there's brush or debris because you're not going to force an arrow through brush and it continue to go on a straight line and hit your target. And that's not, uh, that's not good ethical uh, hunting. And, you know, 
I could have made a bad shot and, and I can't help that, but if I'd known there was a twig in the way, if that's what happened, uh, I shouldn't have taken a shot, but I did not know it was there if that's what happened. But we'll, we'll, we'll show it back in slow motion and maybe we can figure out what went on. But maybe, based on this blood, uh, maybe we hit a main artery. Folks, if you listen and look closely, you can see and definitely hear that my arrow hit a sapling that was against the deer's body that was hiding his vitals. Well, folks, man, believe it or not, there is a good blood trail in this logging road here, and it had to have hit an artery because it was way back near the hip area, and there's the only way it would have left blood down this logging road the way it is is if it hit a main artery. But, I mean, it looks like you've just taken a, a paintbrush or, or a, a squirt bottle and squirted it right down this road, right down the middle of it here. So, apparently, you know, Today was my fortunate day because, see, there's, there's blood on this gravel rock. It's all in this green grass, and it goes right, right, right down through here, across this leaf, all the way down through here. So, man, <laughs> I'm just praying that uh, it's the Lord's will I find this thing because he's definitely got a blood trail going right down the middle of this road. It's not a trail of it like it was. Ah, here it is, right here, right here, and that rock, he went right down here, this game trail, yeah, it's picked back up, yeah, boy, I was starting to worry there for a second, it's just like it, just like it was, folks, we waited, we waited about three hours, because I knew it was a bad hit, but, but after I found my arrow and had all that dark blood on it, I kind of thought it, it might be a fatal shot if it got a artery, and so we waited three hours to let him bleed out. And from the looks of this, he's gonna be piled up here in another 100 yards or so. Come right across this limb. I don't have to do He come right through here. He's no longer on the game trail. He just, now he's just wandering aimlessly. And I'm you, he's still spewing it out. There he is, right there. Right there he is, Dana. Right there, buddy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to tell you what. He just, he just sat down. He just sat down. Got his legs up on him and just sat down and expired right here. But I'm going to tell you what. Oh, man. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this. I'm going to tell you what. Look at this. This thing is a monster. He's a high 170. He might even make the 180s. Oh, God, Saskatchewan, Canada, whitetail deer hunting. Folks, it doesn't get any better than this. Five guys, five big whitetail deer bucks on the ground. Till next week, be safe, shoot them straight. May God bless. We'll see you next week on Outdoors with Bob Coker. What a hoss! Outdoors with Bob Coker.